And tonight we are getting a closer look at how other districts plan to handle the school year. ABC 27's Alexa Trishler talked to district leaders in Georgia and Florida. New guidance on mask wearing indoors, even for those fully vaccinated, may change the face of back to school just a couple weeks away from the first day. I really don't think we'll see any changes. Despite the new guidance on masks from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Superintendent Danny Glover with Taylor County Schools says the district plans to keep masks optional for the upcoming school year, with all students expected to attend class in person. Our plan is to kind of loosen up and open up now. We continue to see uh, cases rise and working with the health department, we may have to back off. Grady County Schools is offering a virtual option for students if families are not ready to send their kids back in person. Masks are optional on school grounds, but are required on the bus. As for what those CDC changes mean, this is what Superintendent Kermit Gilliard had to say ahead of the CDC's announcement. At the moment, we have not changed that. If that guidance changes, then of course we'll make recommendations to change, especially since there has been an uptick uh, in the community. In Gadsden County, face coverings are mandatory for everyone inside district buildings. Superintendent Dr. Sylvia Jackson says they have virtual school and they're prepared to go back to remote learning if they have to. We thought that that was the best way to keep everyone safe and to ensure that parents, all parents are comfortable of returning their students to school. In Thomas County, masks are optional but required on the school buses. In Franklin County, they are still working on their back to school plan and says it should be ready by next week. In Tallahassee, Alexa Trishler, ABC 27. All schools are following CDC and health department guidelines for quarantining students and employees who get exposed to or sick with COVID-19.